You run headlong to your house, taking every possible shortcut. Even a small town like Albius has its darkest corners, but you could not care less. Right now, you need to make sure that everything's alright at home. <laughs> Glita's outcry makes you stop in your tracks. Your daughter hastily pulls some kind of colored plaques from under her belt. That's what almost burnt my tummy! Rass gave them to me about a week ago. A long time ago, they supposedly were magical battle cards. Suddenly, they became so hot to the touch. Take a look at the cards. Mm -hmm. So this game has card... Uh, card mechanics! Yep, CCG... It looked like there was healing, attack, a yep. bunch of other things. This will be the everything game with every type of. I, you know, <laughs> I'm fine with this be. I'm fine with this being heavily derivative as long as it merges all the mechanics together. Uh, right now, it's got a good story and an equally like good visual setup. The music's good too, so I mean, I can deal with any amount of gameplay. Mhm. Mm okay. The magical plaques almost burn your fingers, but they also fit perfectly in your palm. You feel almost as if you could wave your hand and channel magic into any enemy. Could they regain their power because of the reaping? How did Ras come by them? You remember seeing such plaques sold as curiosities and souvenirs. You hear footsteps coming from somewhere ahead. Three thugs are barring the way. Their puffy faces are contorted with mindless rage. Did highwaymen get so brazen as to attack townsfolk, hoping for an easy gain? In a swift move, you draw your sword. But the thugs look unimpressed. You look closer and notice their vacant eyes and foam at their mouths. Your opponents are either very drunk or crazy. You step in front of Glita. I'll beat some sense into them. Stay back! In response, Glita steps aside and draws her own blade. Did I practice with a sword for all these years just to keep hiding behind you? Together, we'll deal with them faster. What your daughter is... Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll okay. do it. Maybe... Uh, maybe... <laughs> when the uh, character is still next to the dialogue? Yeah. I don't know. What your daughter is really asking for is some stern parenting. But the thugs attack you with a feral roar. You can only hope your daughter has taken your lessons to heart. Okay, character selection. If you have more than one character in your party, you can choose the turn order. Just select any character standing on a highlighted tile. Choose an action, and their turn, and the tile will dim. When all of your characters end their turns, new round will begin. Gotcha. Click the icon in the bottom left to use a card. Each card has a number that shows which round it'll become available. Ooh. Each card can be used only once per battle. After you use a card, it won't be available again until the next battle. Red skulls next to a character portrait indicate the number of wounds the character has sustained. Character stats are lowered depending on the number of wounds. Character sustains four wounds, they die. Well, you already have one wound yeah. because of Mr. Eye of Chains. I think and wounds I are like falling in battle or stuff. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway. Keep an eye out for this useful button. It can be used. It can be found throughout the game. Click on it to read descriptions of various game mechanics. Okay, place your units before the start of battle. Uh, Looks like you only have that line to start with. So really, whatever you think is tactical, there's only a couple bricks on that one side, and they're both melee fighters. Oh, that's cool. Hmm? I can uh, turn on HP. I'm just gonna turn that on. What do we have? Options display. Play the battle again. Hmm. So if I make too many mistakes. Okay, my turn. Oh, there's a timer. Okay. I suppose attack, but it's too far. She's faster. She could potentially make it to them and attack. Yeah, so um... But do they have advantages on side? What I want to do, cover. Energy by four. Damage dealt. Done to health. Yeah, we haven't really been able to inspect their skills. Yeah, sorry. I so this game is made to some degree with PvP mind. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that there was a PvP mode for this. Uh, how do I do five? Okay, let's move for. Oh, I'm moving her. I didn't even realize. I'm, I'm trying to use him. 
But I think I'm using her. Ah! Ah, uh, too bad. I, but I can't, okay. I'm using him now, yes? I believe so. Because he won't move. Is it because she's in the way? I don't know. Let's play battle again. Well, Give me a second. Penalize you? Yeah, I, uh, I don't know if I've run into a bug or what. Um, let's try that again. Okay, so we've got cards. Can't use them. And they're all one turn cards. So that means that you should be able to use them after your first turn. Yep. You might as well advance. They're going to be coming at you. Uh, so the trick is actually... To defend until they reach you. Yeah, it looks like she's I... still moving. Yeah, I think because you had done that one fortification move as your first um, use with her, she wasn't able to have the range that she had when we had initially looked at Yeah, it. it looks like if I use her first, it actually bugs out and won't let me use him at all. Which means I have to wait until my turn really? ends. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is, this is a new indie game, and indie games are often... Okay, Thorn. So we want to move here. So the reason why I don't want to move is I want to force them to come at me. Yeah. That's Anchor. understandable. Oh. Well, they're moving. Because So part of it is, see that energy meter? Wow. That's armor. It's just going to smack her. That's fine. Is this rotoscoped? Because it might those be, animations yeah. are pretty fluid. Okay, we have double strike. Or heavy strike. Oh. Or just attack. Yeah, attack him. So heavy heavy strike hurts. But I could double strike and kill him. Neat. Are the other guys tougher than this one, though? That's uh, just the a... one in the back has 40 HP. Yeah, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste any of my particularly beefy moves on this. Do they only have one of those moves, or is it? Does it require? There's extra... cooldowns and stuff. Okay. Okay, it's my turn. Ah, uh, so I could kill the guy. We have knockback, parry, fight back. Eight damage pushes the enemy back by one tile. Counterattack by eight. Two tiles for all surrounding units. That's pretty nice. But that's your special skill, correct? Okay. Well, that's fine. Because what I can do is knock, knock back these guys. Mm-hmm. What? I'm, I'm trying to... What? Oh, brutal blow. I think you need to cast on yourself. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Now I've used it. And his armor goes up by even more. Yeah, so he is much more of a tank, which I believe, yeah, all damage is reduced by 8 while my defense is up. Which should be fine. Uh, she does 9 damage, so yeah, she can finish people off. I do have cards as well. Yeah. Yes. She I'll mess around with them. Oh yeah, you haven't... Can you draw cards any turn? Uh, I don't entirely know. Because if you notice, the timer, the card timer says three on it. Yeah. Which means you could choose any one of so, those. So, Ranker reduces attack by five, increases attack by one to all surrounding units. Chokehold reduces health by ten. You could just outright reduce the guy's health. Cure increases defense by ten, reduces health by five to a random enemy unit. <gasps> That's good. And increases energy by two to all party members. Let's use this card. Well, especially because he's the only enemy we yeah. have. Okay. So that helps. This is a neat system. I'll have to see. Oh, using a card wasted turn, though. Oh. Good to know. Well, that's fine. He still can't hurt me. So I'm just going to bully the crap out of him. So mm -hmm. it looks like I can only use one character at a time. But there's no turn order, so if I wanted to, I could just keep using one character over and over and over again. Yes. Uh-oh. Glita looks at the bloodied bodies in terror. This is the first time she's fought to the death. You grab her by her shoulders, shaking her a couple of times before she looks away from the corpses. She finally steals herself, meets your gaze, and nods with great determination. You are proud of your daughter, but even more so, worried for your wife, Leaky. There is no time to lose. You need to get home as soon as possible. A couple of side alleys later, you open the familiar gate. 
Okay, victory. So we get no Strixes. We get a thousand gold. Wow, just defeat a hundred enemy groups like this and you'll be able to pay, or no, a hundred thousand is much more than that, right? Actually, no. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. you yeah. just could defeat a hundred. So, uh, 3,000 bandits and we'll just have enough money. <laughs> You run into the house and find the living room covered in blood. Old Tenor, your housekeeper, stands at the door, trembling all over. His daughter, Kina, your maid, lies motionless on the floor. Just beside her is your wife, Leaky. So, address your daughter, address Tenor, or mourn your wife. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you want to talk with Tenor? Sure. Tenor, what happened here? Glita is trying to say something, but cannot speak through suffocating sobs. You use all of your willpower to remain composure, even managing to say something. When your nails cut deeply into your palms, the veins in your wrists are about to burst and your teeth are about to shatter from grinding. Glita is stroking her mother's hair and whispering something into her ear. You briefly consider ending your own life, but your daughter needs protection. She resembles your wife so strongly. You slowly turn to the servant. He is saying something. Such calamity has befallen us. Oh, such grief. First both Leaky and Kina screamed in pain, then my daughter seemed to lose her mind. She went at Mistress Leaky with a knife. Mistress defended herself, but then... Huh. So, was it the madness? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. If you want to do Glee to give me a hand, yeah, are they going to probably lift burying. bodies or yeah. something? I mean... Unfortunately, also, it doesn't really tell you, like, what any of these do. It's kind of like The this... first one is a little bit redundant. The yeah. second one is going to do something with the bodies, perhaps. The third one is, we've got to get out of here, no time to mourn our dead kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? I don't know. I'm between choice two and three. Yeah, I'm between two and three. Because... Let's try two. Okay. Glita, give me a hand. Take a blanket from the bed and cover Kina's body. No longer stop. Oh, I don't need to do that. I just need to yep. emphasize it. Okay. I will. In a moment. Oh, the horror. The horror. His Excellency Count Vici and his young son Braun always said it would end this way. Hmm. The Count said many things. Daddy, this is not the time for old grudges. The monster said that it would start with our family. We must leave this town. You're right, Kalita. Pack whatever we need for the journey. Quickly, Tenor. Saddle the horses. Uh, yes, I'll do it. You move a strand of your wife's hair and notice something odd. A black-blue mark like an ulcer on the nape of her neck. The surrounding skin is swollen. As if burnt. Glita also notices it, notices it and backs away, a look of terror on her suddenly pale face. <gasps> this is right out of the ancient manuscript. The same thing happened 700 years ago. A pain pierces your neck and grows into a fiery noose. Fiery, sorry. It strangles you and you die in terrible agony. This infection is what they called the reaping. Daddy, the, the back of my neck is burning. Let me see. Damn it, you have the same mark. Have a look. Do I have it? Nothing. But how can it be? Why did the plague spare me? I don't believe in luck. There must be some kind of protection, but what is it? The Strix? Maybe? I hope Rask was right. Come here, Glita. I want you to wear this. You take Rask's pendant out of the bag and put it around your daughter's neck. She nods, and you pull her into your embrace again. You exit into the front yard and take a look around. No, you shouldn't bury Leaky here. It'd be better to do it in the back. 
Kalita follows you. Take Tanner and bring the bodies here, you tell her. Try to be quick. Our time is short. Just wrap them in something, alright? When you are done digging, your hands are shaking, but not with tiredness. Tenor buries his face in his hands. Kalita is a shadow of her former self. You realize that if you stop and stand still, pain will drown you. You get out of, fresh, get out of the freshly dug grave and pick up Leaky's body. You lay out Kina's body beside her mistress. They used to play together as kids. You take up the shovel. Kalita is still petrified. Tenor mumbles one of the temple's anthems. You wonder what he's asking the gods to do for his daughter. Aren't his woes all the same to her now? You throw the last handful of earth into the grave and toss the shovel aside. You feel as if you are on the edge of a cliff. Your wife is no more. Her body is not in your warm embrace, but in the cold clutches of death. For some reason, you are alive. Galita walks up and hugs you, pulling you back from the precipice, just like when you met the Reaper. Ah, so you can talk with uh, Tenor, Glita. It'd be a good idea. Check on him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you, let's do you let's start with Glita just in case. Okay. Glita loads up her ho her horse, weeping over the tack. Oh, mommy, dear, how are we going to live without you? She whispers. You put your arms around your daughter as she presses her tear-stricken face into your chest. It's over for Leaky, my dear, but for you and Mact, it is not. Remember this, however much it hurts. Glita nods and tries to steel herself. No longer crying, she starts strapping the saddlebags. It's not over either for you, Daddy. No matter what you think, I'm almost ready. I only need to strap this package of Rask scrolls. Maybe I'll have a chance to return them. It pains you to look at your daughter whose every gesture reminds you of your wife. You cleanse your teeth and carry on. There's no time to lose. Help Glita fasten the package. Mm hmm Glita buries her face into your shoulder. Thank you. Mommy is dead. We've got to run from the reaping. And I'm still fussing with this package. You enter the house to see what tenor is packed of your things, but is not in a rush to leave. What's keeping you, tenor? Tenor makes a helpless gesture. Forgive me, Master Brennan, but I'm not coming. I must remain by my daughter's side. I'll look after the house for as long as I live. Tell Tenor that he is an excellent servant. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, you know that he's going to die there alone. Yeah, and the he whole knows town he's is die. decimated and everything. So, let's see. Tenor's expression softens. You've been a model husband for Mist Mistress Leaky. No matter what her father, Count Victi, said. Oh, so it was like one of those marriages. Maybe she was marrying below her station to some warrior. Yeah. And she was the, the daughter of a count. They, they must have modeled his hair after his hair and beard after John Wick. <laughs> like, he no. totally has the Keanu Reeves, Reeves, Keanu Reeves, John Wick look. Okay. I like how they subtly, like, give you the information. Yeah. As no, the to, story. Like, the relations. The storytelling is nice. It doesn't dump info on you. It just kind of throws it in like you'd know it because technically the character does. Mm -hmm. Anyway, someone is yelling and knocking at the gate with brute force. It's, it's Captain Krieger. He's got Fisk, the guard from the Northern Gate, as well as four lads from his regiment with him. What should we do? Let him in before he destroys the gate. Glita, shut the stable doors for now, just in case. Damnation! Quick, bring the hor bring in the horses! Thorn, is your old servant completely deaf? I bashed my knuckles raw, knocking on your bloody gate. Don't you know what's going on in town? Pipe down, I do know, Tenor. Uh, I do know. Tenor's just lost his daughter, understood? I've just lost my wife. Curse this damn town. Leaky, no fucking way. I'm sorry, pal. I'm really sorry. Damn me if I hurt your feelings or something. You'll die like a dog, so don't worry about it. We all will at this rate. What's happened to you? When the monster entered the town, everyone went berserk. Have you seen the sign it left on the gate? What do we do now? I wanted to ask the Burgomaster, but I don't think I could make it through. Besides, I had the boys with me. 
Hey, there, you pansies, come here. You all right? Heh, <laughs> looks like you didn't even shit your pants. Take care of the horses while we figure out, uh, figure something out. Shed. One of the soldiers leans against the shed. His legs seem seemingly unable to support him. Oh, oh no. Did he get affected by the sickness? He's probably just terrified. Brett, lounging about. <laughs> just coming to my senses, thinking about what to do. What can you do against a reaper? It came after me. You'll see. It knows where I'm hiding. And it will find me again. It came after all of us, knucklehead. Do you think you're special or something? If, gods forbid, it comes back, it'll be for all of our heads. Thorn, we need to leave, right now. <laughs> we can't run or hide. Death's in the air. Loyal decreased with Brett. Uh. Listen to me, boy. Don't ever let your fear wag, on, wag your tongue for you. Curb it. If you want to die, do it. Just don't drag others into it. Maybe I shouldn't have talked to them. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, stable. Young soldiers from the Albius Regiment are tending to their horses. Hey, stop. Quit trailing hard like a puppy. Go tighten the straps of your horse. Oh, you remembered me. Get this nanny away from me. At this rate, he'll soon be holding my member while I take a leak. Let yeah. him look after Gleda. Why not? <laughs> but Horde, aren't we buddies? Don't you see what's happening in Albius? Don't drag Gleda into this. I worry about you. <laughs> Go on, right out of here. I need you like I need a hole in the head. If you, you want to look after me, do it from far away. Looking at Hoda as he storms away. That's what distress does to men. You look as stiff as a dick in a bathhouse, Sop. Don't worry. He'll call off and you'll be best buddies again. Thorn, what else did you want to ask the lad? Why are you staring at the gate? Wait. Why are they in bathhouses? What? I. They're trying to be realistic with the dialogue, I guess. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, it's a really nice, sturdy gate. We could just stay here and wait for the mess to clear up. It's not Forge Shit Creek. We're already knee high in it, Sop. Who do you think this gate is gonna stop? That monster? Or maybe the plague? What's next? Crawling under a blanket? <laughs> Will it help? I want to do the right thing, but what if those madmen come ba come to their senses? Then it's all hunky dory. <laughs> I think that's what he said. I, it is. I, I then it's all hunky dory. Oh yeah. Their language has been all over the place. I was expecting so some kind of not, archaic old English. This was not written by a. Uh, then again, they could be the soldiers. Could be the common crude folk as opposed yeah. to. Yeah. So I, I think part of it is the, uh, the main characters are probably going to be a little bit colloquial. I like the fact that these guys sound kind of weird. <laughs> It definitely sounds more soldiery and or like, I don't know, something. Why the sour look? Should I sing and dance? This is no fort. We must move to Ursus. Its walls are higher. And the German army is nearby. The king himself is there. And more food. <laughs> he likes his food. Okay. All you care about is stuffing your face. If the entire German army loses its marbles like the Albius guards... Ursus will be good for nothing. Well, I mean, the madness hasn't affected us. There must be someone sane in Ursus. Let them deal with this craziness. Did you shit your pants? I just might. My, my knees are shaking. I don't like this one bit. I'd rather have a war. A war with normal things. Yeah. Or normal people. No, it's rather totally than, fair. Rather than magical, immortal... Plague monsters, yeah. War doesn't keep men waiting. You'll find that your knees shake less when you're marching. Let's go and see what happens. Then point us in the right direction. All I hear is talk. You're a superior, aren't you? All right, enough talk. Look at Sop rambling. Usually he's too busy chewing. He probably thought we'd be hiding in a tavern. If you could hide from this nastiness in a tavern, I'd be there already. Krieger, do something. We didn't join Thr Thorn Brennan's company by accident, did we? I mean no disrespect, Captain. Respect my decisions, then. First, we need to get out of town and ride to the nearest men here to get rid of the plague. We'll see where we go from there. 
loyalty increased with SOP. Don't forget it. Uh, for, uh, forget about trouble, Krieger. The Burgomaster is dead. <laughs> We're sailing up Shit Creek. What do we do now? Hmm. Wash the shit stains and run. Let's hmm. see. Oh yeah. Let's so do the... second one. Okay. Um. So there was the berserkers. Let's there was... try with the question. Well, oh, first question, maybe. Can we can we try with the plague? Though? Okay. Check the backs of everyone's necks. The plague leaves a distinctive mark. We figured that one out already. None of my lads have marks. I personally checked. The townsfolk have been clutching their necks in pain, though. The gods spared us from this plight. Without them, we'd be squirming on the ground. We should be grateful. You invoke the gods, but they have nothing to do with it. Confound them. Well, we've got Strixes to help us. What do you, what do you have, Fisk? What do you mean? I have a spear and my armor, though I admit they aren't the best. Why Why the animosity? I don't... Well, he's just a random townsperson. He's not a soldier. Okay, well, let's do number two, then. Perhaps I'm not making myself clear. A bit slow in the uptake, aren't you? I'll say it again. Slowly. Strixes protect you from the plague. Krieger and I have our captain's insignia with Strixes. These lads have earrings with flecks of, of this stone. Where is your Strix? Wait, everyone has Strixes? I, I guess so. Huh. I've got a small one in this pin. Used to be my mother's. I've kept it in her memory. But I don't wear it. So she protects you even after her death. Pray to your dead mother, Fisk. Rather than to the gods. Okay. Well, that's helpful. Uh, what's this? Uh, what is this sign on the gate? How should I know? A standing guard by the northern gate with Fisk. May the gods punish him with sobriety. Suddenly, a monster appeared. So this is Flit. He's a young man. I heard of this creature. Temple records refer to them as reapers, for they come during the reaping. They don't always look like monsters. Sometimes they appear almost human. They call themselves the Umbra, but there's only a passing mention of them in the Chronicles. Having the foggiest idea what it was, and frankly, I don't give a crap. I just know what I saw. It was so scary you'd shit your pants. Many did, in fact. All of them fell to the ground, at least. The monster drew some kind of mark on the gate and let out a screech. The Reaper said the gate was sealed and everyone should prepare to die. It said so in the Temple Tongue, and then in Frisian. Frisian? Will you shut up, wise ass? You've been going on and on. What are you planning to do? Talk your foes to death on the battlefield, you snotty brat. Uh, have I ever given anyone a reason to call me a coward? Uh, well, do you want to have, like, curry favor with the boy or with the captain? Uh. Probably. Uh. I don't like how they're abusing the young ones. Yeah. Krieger, let it go. Hold your horses. You two flit. Please calm down. How come you know so many languages? Uh, you just had to learn them. Many archival records exist only in Frisian or in the Temple Tongue. Being knowledgeable is always useful. As for courage, you either have it or you don't. You won't know until you need it. You said something about going berserk, Krieger. Well... Oh, sorry. Uh. Well, you see, the monster just etched a sign on the gate and vanished. Then the bell started ringing and it went all topsy-turvy. The people got on, uh, got to their feet and began to beat the living daylights out of each other. Uh, out of each other. Some skedaddled, others took up arms. Some folks just used bare hands. Me and Fisk ran for it, but that didn't go go well. Even the guys we knew were lunging at us like furious beasts. We wanted to avoid killing him, of course, but the way things were, well, we fought our way to the stables and found these lads. I see. It's starting to make sense. The plague leaves a mark, which makes you go berserk, but it doesn't always work. Perhaps some possess the inner strength to resist, or maybe Strixus have got something to do with it. The mark's not a death sentence, then. If you resist it, things are looking up, boys. Something to drink to. It's time to get out of town. Get on your mounts. Damn, I almost forgot. The people didn't go mad immediately after the monster left its sign on the gate. First a merchant rode through the square in a flying gallop. 
It's a miracle he didn't trample anyone. Hmm. He pulled the control lever, slid something between the leaves, opened him up, and off he went. All by himself. And here I thought he was a good-for-nothing wuss. Surely you know him. Short beard, always smiling, shop near the town hall. Good drinking buddy, if you ask me. He betrayed everyone? He let the things in? No, he got out of there. He just got out. Yeah. Because but- it was... People didn't go mad immediately after the beast put the mark on the gate. The merchant put the mark on the... Uh, the, the reaper put the mark on the gate. Mm-hmm. And the merchant's like, I'm getting the hell out of here. And then people went insane. Uh-huh. Um. So I, I think the I think Rask is fine. And the, but the gate's still open. That's yep. the thing. Okay. Rask, so he managed to get out of town. Is the gate still open then? No, the people are going berserk already. Some of the guards went after this Rask fellow, by the way. Then the gate sh- slammed shut as if as nobody held it open. So it's possible to open the gate after all. Gather everyone, Krieger, and let's go. We need to get out of this town. Tenor. Sure you don't want to change your mind? <laughs> I'm too old to change my mind, Master. May the gods grant you a smooth what road. Farewell. As you wish. Everyone, follow me and Krieger. Tenor, open the gate. You stop in the square near the gate, dismount, and peek around the corner. The ground before the gate is littered with corpses. Beside them, guards shuffle about, scratching their necks and growling now and then. <gasps> they have weapons at the ready. The incessant ringing of the bell makes you squirm as you examine the gate. There's some kind of glowing mark on, mark on it. The square is full of abandoned carts, baskets, and crates, and corpses. There's no way you can ride through this on horseback. Your company waits for your decision. Uh. Huh? Do you okay. need to save? Oh, good. There are saves that we can go for. Well, yeah, it's, it's time to switch. Oh. I know. Okay. And the last one was seven minutes ago. I think that's fine. Wait, I'll does that mean we have to do the dialogue, the dialogue all over again? I can again? just skip through it real quick. It's not a big deal. Yeah. 